Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here, The Keto Pro. We're gonna talk about the biggest mistake people make on keto or really any health plan. And um, this may surprise you a little bit because at the end of the day, like if you, if you recognize this mistake that everybody's making, you will ultimately get results, maintain it, and live the life you wanna live. If you don't recognize it, unfortunately, you'll have to watch this video again in the next year and the year after and the year after and the year after until you decide to shift your way you're seeing things. So um, a long time ago, people used to say that, you know, it's 90% diet, it's 10% exercise. I remember as a trainer, a former trainer, that's what I always would say. 80% 20, 10, 95% nutrition, 5% diet. I'm gonna tell you right now that it's wrong. All that's wrong. It's probably 20% diet, 10% exercise, and 70% how we see it all. It's behavioral driven. And so if you're focused on the loss, if you're focused on losing weight, which happens all the time, I see it with, with people getting married or people getting ready for vacation all the time. I mean, people call me all over the world the same thing. I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose, or I don't wanna get sick. I don't wanna end like my mom mom died of whatever I had this this condition. I don't want to end up like dad. They're, they're, they're all trying to avoid something or lose something or get something away from them. Instead, and unfortunately, what they're doing is they're attracting it, unfortunately, <laughs> more. So if weight loss is your goal, you would look at weddings. How many people do you know that lose weight for their wedding that don't gain it back? And then more than that, and then more than that. Look at the biggest loser, same thing happened there. They focus on the loser instead of what they gain out of this whole thing. So here's the tip. Um, if you want to ultimately change your life forever, reverse your thinking. Doesn't I, I'm all about, hey, look good in a bathing suit. I'm all about looking sexy. I'm all about, you know, dropping body fat. It's good for your health. But it's not a good tool to utilize as a motivator long term. You'll typically, uh, a mentor of mine said this, he goes, if the donut uh, gives you a higher or better reward than the six pack abs, the donut will always win. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So because it's true. So what you want to do, we just finished this challenge up and it's pretty neat watching these these gentlemen, they were mostly men in this challenge, but I do this with women also, is that these guys have been plateaued, gained some of the weight back. They're all just stuck. They all know what to do. That's why people say nutrition is like so important. Bullshit. You know what to do. It's not like it's rocket science, y'all. It's eat less crappy food, eat higher quality foods, eat less carbohydrates, fuel your body and then move your body. It's pretty that, it is that, that simple. Now you can accelerate it with like things like keep being in ketosis. You can accelerate it with things like our product, like, like Keto Nat. Um, but that is, it's a pretty simple concept. It's not rocket science. What I'm saying to that is that does individual people, I have an autoimmune disorder, so I follow a different plan, but it's not crazy. Like, wow, that's just groundbreaking plan. That kind of makes sense once you have the grid, just that you figure that out in 20, 30, 40 minutes, right? Um, or maybe even a couple weeks. But why don't you do it is the bigger reason. Why don't you stick to it? That's the bigger reason. That's where it really the meat comes into it. So what you want to do is you want to do something instead. Write down the goal. Hey, I want to drop 100 pounds. I want to drop 30 pounds. I want to drop five pounds. How many of you have the same five or 10 pounds that you've wanted to lose for the last 15 years and you have it and still in front of you? It seems like a bad plan. You wouldn't wish that upon your kids. It's always one of my favorite lines. Would you ever wish your kids to be in the situation, people go, no. I'm like, well, 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 you've been in it for 15 years. Like, like, let's change the way we approach this. Otherwise there's not, it's not going to change. Right. Um, uh, what is the de definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So what you want to do instead is you want to focus on what you gain. What do you gain? What are you gaining in this journey? And you have to make it somewhat measurable. What I found about the thing about weight is weight's measurable. So you people can get excited or disappointed off a number. So if you don't make your gains measurable, then it's arbitrary. It just, it's just a concept. Like you can't measure health. People, I want to get healthier. Bullshit. You can't measure health. There's no metric to health. We're working on it. There it doesn't exist. We kind of have an idea of one, but it doesn't really exist. How sick you are does, you can measure how sick you are. Go to the doctor. They'll tell you if you're sick or not, right? They can tell you, people get their blood work done. They're like, I'm healthy. Well, are you? Do you wake up every day with energy, focused? Do you feel great? Are you up to, to conquer the world? Do you, are, you, are you happy? Are you fulfilled? If the answer is no to any of those, then you're not optimally healthy. You're, you're, you're lacking somewhere. How do you improve that? So focus on things that you can measure. For instance, I'll give you a couple of mine. Now, I'm going to go away from fitness for just a second, but come back to it. Is for me, it's be more patient. How do I make, how do I measuring that? Well, I'm measuring that because the, the 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 method to become more patient is to be okay with quiet time. And for me, I'm a very stimulated person. I like a lot of stimulation. So seven minutes every day for 28 days, I did a seven minute meditation. It's practice to become more patient. 
Well, then what ended up happening is that when I'm out with my, my daughter last weekend, I spent time without my phone and I sat down and we just hang, we hung up by the pool. Well, because I put the work in. So my metric is, can I do every day for 28 days? Well, now that here's the trick comes. Now, how do I maintain that after? Set a standard. What's your standard that you're going to live by? Okay. Um, next thing is, is, is you could do a sleep goal. Like, Hey, I'm going to get to bed at this time every night, right? Something that you could put a tangible to. If you have a, a, if you have a ring, like I have a ring, you can measure your sleep. Well, get to bed earlier, shut off technology earlier, eat a little, eat better, do these things and see your sleep score go up. Use that as a measurement of success and then set a standard and live by that new standard that you're, that you're going by. These are all the recipes that are going to help you maintain your goal anyway. And the last one's exercise. What's your one mile walk time? What's your one mile run time? What's your, whatever that is for your own needs. What's your push-ups? What's your pull-ups? What's your sit-ups? What's your burpees? What's your jumping jacks? Measure something, something physical that you can, what's your bike ride? That you can measure your test, test yourself, go do a challenge, get to that new standard, and then maintain your new standard to the level that you want to maintain it. If you go to say, hey, I want to do, like, I want to do 20 pull-ups, I may not maintain 20 pull-ups. That might be my goal. I may maintain 15. How many years can I do 15 pull-ups? Well, that's going to hold me to a standard that's going to help me maintain the weight you just lost. Does that make sense? So focus on your gains more than your loss. Your, your loss will stay away forever. If you focus on your loss, you're more likely to gain it back. So that's the recipe for long-term success, and it's why people fail on almost every single lifestyle. They're focusing on the wrong thing. They're focusing on the wrong aspect. And it's like if you lose weight, you're going to find it. If you lose weight, you're going to find it. If you release the weight and create a new life for yourself, you'll never find that weight again because it's gone. You, you let it go. You gave, just, you gave it to your neighbor. <laughs> you meanie. So anyway, that's the tip. Follow that. Hey, come like my stuff. Go to social. I'm the Keto Pro on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm not on Twitter. TikTok, uh, YouTube, you name it. Come find me. We'll talk. Cheers.